Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about coronavirus and immunity and what you can do to boost your immunity. So immunity has three key components, food, sleep and stress. So I'm going to focus on food, but just very quickly on sleep and stress. Having sufficient sleep or lack of sleep is detrimental to your immunity. Stress is detrimental in every kind of way. So meditation works very well for stress. Laughter works very well for stress. Uh, so just quickly on these two, but now let me focus on what I know best, which is food. So here's a list of things that are supposed to help with your immunity. I'm going to explain each one of them as best as I can. Um, and hopefully that's going to leave you with some tips also on what to do. So amla uh, or Indian gooseberry is known to boost immunity or it is high in vitamin C, high in antioxidants and you can juice these and have them. Uh, garlic is also known to boost uh, immunity. It is an antimicrobial. The way you have garlic in an ideal sense is you would take a clove um, raw and chew it in your mouth. You want to keep it in your mouth for about 10 minutes uh, there's an enzyme called amylin. You want to let that uh, build up. You can also put some uh, cuts in the garlic and then put it in your mouth. Uh, but you want to activate all the enzymes in the garlic and take your time to chew it uh, over a while, over 10-15 minutes. You can have this uh, once a day. Turmeric. Now turmeric is an anti-inflammatory primarily. Uh, but again, turmeric is a good thing to have at this time. We get inflammation from a lot of factors, pollution being one of them, uh, or bad food, or, or a lot of triggers. So turmeric is always good to have, and many ways to have turmeric is, uh, you can have turmeric with uh, black pepper, and the black pepper activates it. Uh, on its own, turmeric won't be activated. You can um, cook turmeric with some oil, like with some ghee, and you can have turmeric with that. Uh, people have it with milk very often. Uh, you can also have it with almond milk, which becomes a low carb alternative to having turmeric uh, than milk. So again, turmeric is just a great thing to have right now, uh, just generally to keep you fit. Uh, tulsi, uh, tulsi has been known to be an antimicrobial uh, as well. So, uh, or holy basil. So you can also have uh, tulsi, uh, again you can juice it, uh, you can add that to your amla juice if you want. Uh, same thing goes with neem, uh, neem also has a lot of antifungal, antimicrobial benefits. So these are again your classic Indian, um, uh, turmeric, tulsi, neem are your classic Indian boosters. Now this one is something you may not know a lot about. I want to talk a little bit about this probiotics. So this is all, this whole new field, right? About probiotics and the microbiome. So um, your, your gut is basically your skin turned inside out and it has to let stuff through all the time. That's the whole process of digestion. And about 60% of your immune system is focused around your gut to protect from things coming in and out. So if you have a weak gut wall, then a lot more of your immune system is distracted by uh, being present with your food and in your gut, uh, being present with what's coming through your gut. So if you take probiotics, you do boost the gut wall and so your immune system gets a break from focusing on the gut wall and gets to focus on other areas of your body. Uh, so in case you get any infection from the nose, then the immune system would be better placed to deal with all these things. So the probiotics, I think, especially in India, it's extremely important because we have compromised guts. So I do want to stress that um, sauerkraut, which is a, a living probiotic, uh, is also very high in vitamin C. Uh, so that we're going to talk about vitamins here, but vitamin uh, C is very important. And I'm not sure if Yakult or the powdered stuff is as good as living probiotics. Uh, so sauerkraut, kimchi, the real things. Because when I make my probiotics, they breathe. Uh, they create carbon dioxide. Uh, the jar they are in will blow up, expand. 
uh, over time because these things are living and I have not yet seen you know Yakult bottle expand or other things so uh, I do feel that uh, you've got your kefir, your sauerkraut, your kimchi, your kombucha uh, all of these uh, are gonna be beneficial um, at this time in case of uh, vitamins or vitamins depending on where you are uh, vitamin C is again very good for you you can get vitamin C in a form of little tablets uh, but of course taking vitamin C uh, from amla from your probiotics also strawberries is very high in vitamin C uh, oranges and lemon and nimbu are very high in vitamin C so these are some ways you should consider about taking your vitamin C vitamin D now this is very important because 80% uh, of the population is vitamin D deficient if you don't know where you are do get a blood test and check your vitamin D level uh, for vitamin D there are these pills you should take these pills uh, the weather is good right now you can get 20 minutes of sunlight uh, but uh, vitamin D is supposed to be an immune modulator so what it does is it kind of regulates the whole functioning of the immune system so uh, it's an easy thing to to do and I think now is the time that you should do it uh, finally zinc uh, zinc is a mineral that is also often associated with uh, good immunity when it comes to flus and colds so uh, zinc does come from legumes from nuts and from seeds uh, a lot of us don't eat enough nuts and seeds so we do eat enough legumes uh, but you know do make sure you have your chole and your beans and other things but also nuts and seeds or a zinc supplement um, so generally these are things that are kind of uh, food uh, related things that I would give my child to ensure that they have uh, boosted their immune system again if you have any other questions do put them in the comment below and if you like the video please hit the like button and the subscribe Thank you.